Hello and welcome to the video. So this is Birthday Dragons. It's a commander deck and this is called Birthday Dragons because it was given to me on my birthday and it is a dragon deck. It's two colors, black and red. And I'm just gonna go over the from the from the behind section. This is that's all your swamps. And that's all the mountains. Let's put this out a little further. Transguild Promenade, if I pronounce that right. Temple of the Dragon Queen. Temple of Malice. Spinrock Knoll. Smoldering Marsh, Rakdos Guildgate. Obviously, if you're doing a black and red deck, the Guildgate should be involved. Path of Ancestry, and I see that that is glossing like crazy. Is that better? Myriad Landscape. Obviously, you're gonna want that if it, if it's a multicolored deck. Molten Slag Heap. Haven of the Spear Dragon. Craving Cairns. Fabled Passage. Dragon Skull Summit, which is one of the best looking. It's a dragon's face and it's breathing on fire, but that's a really good design for that card. Cryptic Spires. Now, obviously, Cryptic Spires are supposed to write in what card what mana it's gonna cost but i don't want to do that because i'm i feel like that's ruining the card even though you're intended to do that crucible of the spirit dragon command tower which is obvious a staple a mandatory staple in the commander deck however i completely ignore that most times blood fill caves bonders in cave Archway Commons. Now to the artifacts. Um, a staple. Soul Ring. Orb of Dragonkind. Kalaghan Monument. I have to think how do you say that one. Dragon's Horde. Conjurer's Closet. Which just sounds funnier than it actually is. Command Sphere. Cloud Key is very good to get, you know, dragons are are pricey when it comes to mana. This is going to be beneficial to that, to get it down a little lower, to make it easier. Arcane Signet, that's a card that's very good if you're doing a multicolored commander. The enchantments are Sarkhan's Unleasing, excuse me, Unsealing. I read that wrong. Molten Echoes. The Eldest Reborn. Dragon Tempest. A Crucible of Fire, which is absolutely mandatory in a fire in a it's mandatory in a dragon deck. Let's just let's just get that out of the way. It's mandatory. Wild Guess. Zombify. Torrent of Souls, a Tormenting Voice, Stitched Together, Pirate's Pillage, actually these are the sorceries at this point, Mana Geyser, obviously dragons, they're expensive, you want something to make get you them easier. Irene Crag Feet, pay four and you get seven, which really means you get an additional, you actually get three. This is not that great. Fearsome Awakening is good because it, it's aimed for dragons, so when you bring the creature back, you get a plus one, plus one if it's a dragon. Exhum, 
Dragon Storm. I've only ever gotten this to Storm twice. I just wish that was maybe one instead of a nine cast cost. If it was one, if not one, yeah, if it was one, that'd be crazy. But if this was instead of being nine casting cost, it was an eight casting cost. I would be happier with that. A dark ritual. Cooks of Fate. Of course, you're gonna choose the destroy all non-dragon creatures. Thrill of possibility to draw some more cards. A terminate. Spit flame. These are the, by the way, these are the instances. Seething song to get some more mana so you can put out something crazy. Search your library for dragon card. Of course, you'd want to do that. Cauldron dance. A Doom Blade. That's a a very old card. I think the Doom Blade was like in fourth edition or older. It's a classic at this point. Dark Bargaining. And now, now we're getting to the actual. So this, this is all the creatures. So at the very back we have Varix Bladewing with a kicker. Tyrant's familiar with Lieutenant. Thunderbreak Regent. Storm Breath Dragon. Slumbering Dragon. Inexpensive to play and very dangerous later on if it doesn't die early. Scourge of Valkus. His name reminds me of a Skyrim character. Sarkon the Masterless. Sarkon the Fire... Or no, just Sarkon Fire Blood. Fire Blood. Blood, 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 blood. Ryusi the Falling Star. Moonveil Dragon. Leyline Tyrant. Lathless the Dragon Queen. Can't, it, it's a foil, so it's a little difficult to see in the in the video. Kakusha the Evening Star, another foil, and possibly my favorite card of all time. Kill the Mouth Dragon, which for years I was saying Kill Mouth, till I realized there's an N there, so it's Kiln. Hellkite Charger. Gadrick the Crown, the Crown Scourge, another favorite of mine. Dracosith Maw of Flames. Dragon Speaker Shaman, which is a staple to a Dragon Cart deck. That's actually a staple. Dragon Lord Servant, pretty much should be another staple. But I, it's usually Dragon Speaker Shaman. I forget usually. I pretty much always forget that's a card that's essentially the same thing, but it's just a goblin instead of a shaman. Deathbringer Regent. Okay. Chain or Nightmare Adapt. A Burnished Heart. So, you know, you can get some more land. To make it easier for you to get out other cards. Like a Boneyard Scourge. Or a Bargardian Hellkite. Or an Avaricious Dragon. Which I'm not a fan of Avaricious Dragon. I really don't like this card too much. I don't like the fact that you have to discard your hand at your end step. So if there's a reason that I have to discard, I usually hold on to the Average Dragon and then use that to discard. And of course the commander is Bladewing the Risen. Okay, so actually I'll put the commander here. 
So that's the Birthday Dragons deck. Uh, if you like, if you got an idea for a card to replace Average Dragon, put that in the comments. Uh, if you got a Dragon deck, let me know. Tell me what's in your Dragon deck, anything really specific. If there's any cards you think that this deck definitely needs to have in order to make it a killer, put that in the comments. Uh, so the next time you see the Birthday Dragon deck will be facing a a Minotaur Challenge deck, which is a pre-con deck that I'll explain when I get to that video. And then I'm going to use this to play again a couple Horde games. Subscribe to the channel and click the, click the bell so they'll notify you. Hopefully you'll get notified when that video gets out. And thank you for watching and goodbye.